Okay, so we're going to talk about the building of this Corsi Rosenthal box fan filter. It took about 50 minutes for me to do it. Got all the parts from Home Depot here in Toronto in Canada. What we've got right here is a box fan, this Lasco model right here. It's a 20 inch box fan. And I got uh, a couple of these three packs of the 3M Filtrate 1900 Merv 13 equivalent one inch deep fan or filters. All right, so I've set the, the clock on here and now I'm speeding up the video about 10 times the rate. So I took out the box fan, took a look at it to see what direction the air was. Okay, and did the same thing with the, the filters to make sure everything's lined up so that air comes in through the filters and out through top where the fan's going to be. Now I'm going to use the, the box from the box fan to make the bottom of the uh, Corsi Rosenthal box as well as um, part of the shrouding support material as well. So I didn't have to, well at least originally I didn't have to uh, add any extra cardboard but then you'll see at the end of the video I forgot to add the shroud to the top and so I had to use uh, some more cardboard from a grocery shop. All right, so I'm test fitting the uh, the filters right here using some just regular masking tape just to, to see if everything sort of comes together nicely. So just some test fitting to see how things line up. Now this particular box fan doesn't have uh, square edges to the or square corners they're rounded and so it'll require later on a little bit of cardboard to, to go in there before I duct tape everything together all right so cutting out the edges of the cardboard base and then making a, a duplicate for the top All right, you can see what I'm doing with the top right there. I need a little bit of a curved edge. And this is gonna go between the top of the filters, the top edge of the filters, and the box fan. Because there's this little gap in the corners because of the rounded edge of the box fan. So depending on which box fan you get, this may or may not be an issue. All right, so now I'm starting to use this uh, orange duct tape to hold things a little bit better in place. It's uh, that uh, Gorilla brand duct tape, but anything will do. All right, so we're about halfway through. I've hit the, uh, the half hour mark right now. The dog came in to investigate. The dog really likes cardboard for some reason. She eats it. So because of all that extra cardboard, she was very interested in what was going on. All right, so time to start putting that uh, the box fan on. There's this little adapter piece right here out of the cardboard the, that uh, covers up the corners. That's in place. And now we can start securing the fan to the box of filters just below it. Test, uh, test with the fan turned on, all looks good. It's pretty lightweight. Now it's a question of sealing up the edges so that uh, all the air passes through the filters. I'm feeling very much in tuned right now with the red green show and all the duct tape that went along with it. For those of you who aren't familiar with Red Green, definitely worth looking uh, looking it up on Google or YouTube. Everything gets solved with duct tape in that show. 
All right, so you can see the markers uh, on the on the box fan pointing upwards. What will happen is uh, air will get sucked in through the sides of this cube and will get pulled up and sent vertically up into the room. So for, for a classroom, this is actually really good because this way the air doesn't blast in somebody's face um, when you set it up. Now I'm doing some tests with um, a decibel meter app uh, on on my iPad, and uh, generally the at a, at about a meter distance, we're getting about 70 decibels. All right, there you go. So I'm pretty happy with that. It took about 50 minutes to to make this happen, and uh, I got to point out that I forgot to put the shroud on, and that was pointed out to me by um, uh, Jim and David on Twitter. And here you go, this is the result. It's pretty quiet, you can hear. Alright, thanks everyone.